This is Discovering the Scriptures with Dr. Peter John Parises. We're currently in Daniel chapter 2, verse 18. I'm going to read it first in the King James Version so that you have an understanding of what we're directing our focus on. Quote, That they would desire mercies of the God of heaven concerning this secret, that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Unquote. Now let's go ahead and compare this with the Young's Litzel translation. Quote, and to seek mercies from before the God of the heavens concerning the secret that they destroy not Daniel and his companions with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Unquote. Now, we need to look at this now in context. Because if you don't study the scriptures in context, you can pull out the wrong meaning. So let's look at this. The, ver the paragraph is Daniel 2.16 through 2.19. Reading from the King James Bible, quote, Then Daniel went in and desired of the king that he would give him time and that he would show the king the interpretation. Then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, his companions that they would desire mercies of the God of heaven concerning the secret that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Unquote. So we are looking at Daniel 2.18. Now let's go ahead and look at this in the interlineal Bible, which will give us a direct translation of this verse without worry of sentence structure. So, the raw translation of this is not so that this secret concerning of heaven the God from of they might seek that mercies a Babylon of the wise men, the rest with and his companions Daniel might perish. So that's the raw translation of this. What does all this mean? Well, Daniel has gotten together with his fellows, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, commonly known as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But he's gotten together with his three companions at his house, and they are seeking the mercies of God of heaven. Now, the God of heaven was first used in Genesis to refer to the God that um, is above all heathen gods. And this is the God that Daniel sees as ruling the heavens. So he's not a small God, he's a large God in Daniel's eyes. And that he controls the heavens and the earth. So, they're together, and they're seeking the mercies of him concerning the secret that Daniel and his fellow companions would not be slain like the other wise men have been slain there in Babylon. So that's what we have going on here. Let's go ahead and parse out this verse to find out what more we can get. And that they desire, well, let's parse that out. It is a PL stem, which is a casual um, presentation of the verb. And it's an, an infinitive aspect, so it's a casual thing that's going on. That they would desire, would desire the mercies of the God of heaven. I think as we're parsing out this verse, and we see that Daniel is saying, the Lord God of heaven, that we should look back and remember that Daniel is in a position similar to Joseph was. And let's take a look back at a story that I'm very sure Daniel is very familiar with. Genesis chapter 24, verse 7. I'm going to read this from the King James Bible. Quote, The Lord God of heaven, which took me from my father's house and from the land of my kindred, and which spake unto me, and that swear unto me, saying, Unto thy seed will I give this land. He shall send his angel before thee, and thou shalt take a wife unto my son from thence. Unquote. This is Abraham talking. He's talking to a servant. And this is very interesting 
that Daniel is relating back this information about the, the God of heaven and he's referring back to something that took place very comforting from Abraham. Let's go on and see what else we can find from this. Continuing, the God of heaven concerning this secret that Daniel and his fellows should not perish. Now let's parse out the Aramaic word for perish. It's an APL stem, so that remember it's a causative conjunction. And this is written in an imperfect aspect, which means that it is not a completed action. So they should not perish. So they're, they're not dead, so of course it hasn't been finished. So perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Now that ends the parsing of this verse. So it's pretty direct. We got a few things going on here. We have Daniel and his fellows. They are seeking God's mercy. So they're humbling themselves before God. And Daniel is calling the God of heaven. So he's referring back to something even Abraham said that I'm pretty sure he even knew about. Now let's read John Gill's commentary on this. Let's see what we have. Quote, that they would desire mercies of the God of heaven concerning this secret. His view in sending for them and informing them of this whole affair was to engage them in prayer to God with him, even to that God that made the heaven and dwell there, and is above all, and sees and knows what is done in earth, and rules both in heaven and in earth according to his will, to entreat his mercy, whose mercies are manifold, and not plead any merits, of their own, and that he would, in compassion to them, and the lives of others that were in danger, make known the secret of the king's dream, and the interpretation of it, which could never be found out by the Sadducees of men, the wise men, or any art that are masters of, this Daniel requested of them, as knowing that it was their duty and interest, as well as his, to unite in prayer unto God on this account, and that the joint and fervent prayer of righteous men avail much with him, that Daniel and his fellows should not perish for the rest of the wise men of Babylon, which they were in danger of. This was the mercy they were to employ, being in distress, and this the interest they had in this affair, a strong argument to induce them to it." Unquote. So what we have now is a very interesting verse. We need to see how this develops. What's going on here? What is Daniel trying to let us know in the Aramaic language instead of the Hebrew language? And, and why was he using his friends' names in the previous verse in Hebrew and not in Aramaic? What's going on? There's some clues going on here. But Daniel's feeling very comforted as he desires the God of heaven, just like Abraham called him. Pretty sure Daniel knew this. He's a very smart man. So let's find out. May God richly bless you as you study the scriptures and continue on. And remember to always pray and ask God that he would give you wisdom and knowledge through our teacher, the Holy Spirit. And may the scriptures draw you closer to a personal relationship with God. Now, if you like this, please tell others about this broadcast. We will be continuing on, God willing, verse by verse through the entire Bible, and we will get more insights for you to draw upon. Only the truth will be revealed here. No indoctrinations, no doctrines, and no leaning from one denomination or the other. Only the truth from Scripture. God bless.